Hey gang, Diana here today with a um, mini journal. I did put something on the front of my book so I knew it was the front. So I've got a bunch of these cut and I think this is probably mixed media paper. I was rambling so much during this video that I just decided to do a voiceover. So sorry about that. I am just uh, gluing in some bits and pieces basically whatever was on my desk and that little bit of paper was from the hero arts card kit um, i also have some flowers uh, die cut out from mixed media paper and i used a i think it was a savvy die from from savvy it's a poppy die my sister gave it to me i'll check on it because it really is a nice little die cuts out all those holes um, in the center too so i'm adding some watercolor paint i'm really into this um, indigo blue and uh, it's from daniel smith and that cobalt teal from core those two colors are just making me want to sing lately so I've been uh, doing a lot of little mixes with the cool colors I'll be back in a few days with another swatching video for you but for the time being this is a really fun way to to try mixes try out different watercolor mixes or gelato mixes or paint mixes is just doing something small like this so I'm adding a little bit, sorry, off camera, out of frame. I'm adding a little bit of more paint to this page. I had just doused it with some watercolor. And now I'm adding some yellow. And um, again, two, two buckets for water. One to rinse your dirty brush in and one to pick up some clean water. And I'm just adding some yellow around in areas. And I believe I'm going to try, oh yeah, letting it drip, you know. I love that look. And I love the way it pulls up on the edge, too. You can just see it. There, it's like a bridge at the bottom of the left-hand page. Just adding a little bit. You can add really light, well-thinned colors. When I say light and I'm referring to watercolor, I mean that it's very thinned with water. That's how you achieve values in watercolor, um, by either going straight out of the tube with just a tiny bit of water. A good way to achieve some deeper values with watercolor is to Wait till your paint dries. You can see up in the left, right sort of under my water bowl, is um, a flower that I had a couple layers on. At this point, you just um, go ahead and paint, then let it dry, and then paint again on top, and it'll start to deepen the color. Uh, and um, sorry, I'm all, all, out of screen now again. I just fixed my video camera, so I shouldn't be getting those out of screenshots anymore, hopefully. I get so into what I'm doing, I'm sorry, I just forget to look up at the camera. So, um, but there's a really great example, that orange and pink one, of a pink layer and then a orange or yellow layer on top of it. And these colors just begin to bloom in the most wonderful way. It's just, I love those transparent colors as they mix together. Now, I have a bowls, I love bowls, or I love Julie Fife and bowls, little bowls or bits. And this, I, I forget what it's called. I'll link this stuff below as usual. But I'm trying a trick that I do with stencils and watercolors, which is to paint some dark watercolor down. And while it's still wet, I lay the stencil on top of it. This didn't work real well because, um, probably because the color wasn't dark enough and the, um, 
there wasn't enough detail in the stencil but that's okay try it yourself with other things I know I've demoed it before and here's everything is dry and I lift up and there's not much not much excitement a little bit maybe but not not like it would usually be so uh, that's okay you know you try and it, uh, here goes my camera goes crazy with the foil and what I'm doing here is I just decided to cut out little circles of foil so that you could see it through those little holes in the poppy flowers and then I'm going to glue the foil onto the page and then just glue the leaves or the flower petals down to the page so the glue is not on top of the foil so there's the foil on top of the page and I also went over the center of the flower with so, just some tape runner you can see that over to the side there on the right and um, then really just glue the the petals of the flower so it doesn't um, interfere with the shine of the foil there's lots of different ways you can use foil I was just using some recently and uh, I should have a video up on that in the next um, week or two uh, it's a deco foil is I love thermo thermo webs products they're really good products folks so and I'm on purpose leaving the petals stick up at the top of the page because I like to have things sticking up in my art journals it just is another an invitation to open the journal it's like I just like it, it just gives some more texture okay again gluing that piece down a foil down and um, the petals of the flowers it looks so nice I really like this technique I'm gonna do this more often it's not in your face foil I'm not crazy about in your face foil but I do like this um, hints of foil so that's kind of just fun it just gives a little sparkle there that you can see after um, I just had a quick look through my collage stuff and found that little bear serving tea to her cat and I thought of myself and my cat and how we sometimes have tea together although Teddy doesn't actually drink the tea um, oh I'm using those pan pastels I dug them out and I'm applying them with a brush uh, just as a shadow thing uh, I don't like the foam bits because they get dirty and it's just a pain in the neck so I just use it with the brush like you do the pearl perfect pearls and that's it for my page for today I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll comment below subscribe share it's the other thing like and uh, that stuff really helps my channel a lot it gets me when I get interaction it helps the algorithm at YouTube pick up my videos and show them to others so I really appreciate it if you do that uh, thanks for visiting with me today enjoy the rest of your day see you soon